Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Fans of The Bachelor believed they had seen every romantic moment between Joey Graziati and Kelsey Anderson. However, Kelsey splatters the tea on their initial kiss. For all the information on the adorable encounter between the now-engaged pair, keep reading. A bachelor couple discusses changing from TV to real-life romance. Joey Graziadi and Kelsey Anderson had to conceal their romance for several months. They couldn't announce their relationship to the world until the season finale of The Bachelor, but they fell in love while filming season 28. Millions of viewers watched Joey pop the question to Kelsey Anderson in front of the Bachelor Nation. When keen-eyed fans noticed the two posting pictures with the same background, they almost ruined their season. The show arranged for the engaged couple to spend time together behind closed doors on secret weekends. When they were unable to go out in public, Joey told the Philadelphia Enquirer how they passed the time. We discovered that our shared love of riddles. They kept us really occupied, and we like how they facilitated communication, he revealed. How are they adjusting to life outside of television now that their relationship is public knowledge? The fiance of Kelsey Anderson clarified. The transition has been about doing the little things that most couples would typically do early on in their relationship, he said to the outlet. After the season finale, he went on to say that their first date was awesome. After the show, Kelsey said the couple was excited to go grocery shopping together. She also organized free time activities for them, like dance and pottery lessons. Maybe she wants to add a cooking class to the mix. Regarding her first kiss with Joey Graziadi, Kelsey Anderson opens up. Almost every second of Joey Graziadi, and Kelsey Anderson's romantic journey was documented by the ABC cameras. However, Kelsey claims that there was one instance that the show didn't dare. The pair previously disclosed another intimate moment that was captured on video. Kelsey claims that viewers of The Bachelor were not privy to her first kiss with her fiancé. She described the lip lock as so special and gave specifics about what happened. We worked out in the sun all day on our paint battle date, and I became lightheaded. I was treated in the medical tent. They continued to give me crackers. Eventually, Joey came to see how I was doing, and he ended up kissing me. But my mouth was full of crackers, she said. It was very charming. Given that their relationship is now known to the public, do you believe Kelsey and Joey will last? Post your ideas in the comments. The frontrunner for Joey Graziade on season 28 of The Bachelor reflects on the prejudice and hatred she experienced, but doesn't let it stop her. Before the weekend, word leaked out that she and other positive thinkers actually turned to hatred as a source of motivation. Nance Rachel contains an intriguing blend of cultures. In Joey's season, Rachel Nance was a frontrunner, but what really gave her a lot of trouble was the hometown date in Rancho Cucamonga, California. She shared many Filipino customs, including some delectable food, with her upbringing in Hawaii. But many Bachelor Nation viewers chastised her for it. During the terrible period of cyberbullying that followed Joey's The Bachelor Episode 8, Rachel Nance was able to find a lot of support. Serene Russell, star of Bachelor in Paradise, as well as Olivia Lewis and Serena Pitt, supported her. Serene appeared in Clayton Eckerd's season, so she is familiar with what it's like to be on reality TV. On the dating show, trolling is to be expected, but it seemed particularly nasty. It's hard to understand the magnitude of what the regular experience is like let alone being racially and culturally attacked, Serene stated on Instagram. A Bachelor contestant uses self-motivation through discrimination. In an interview with NBC News, 
The ICU nurse discussed this in detail, bringing out Asians in particular. Asian women were taught to always apologize first, she said in her explanation. Oh, I'm sorry if I run into someone. Apologies. I say sorry if I run into them. Never want to come across as overly assertive or overly involved. Just before I took the stage, I considered whether or not to bring this up. For what if it causes discomfort to others? She continued, saying, Either I respect my family and I display the values I was raised with, or I don't and I hide, which makes me unhappy and disrespects my family. It's true that being a woman puts you in a box, and that box is smaller for women of color. Therefore, we just can't win. You just have to be yourself, in my opinion, and that's all you can do. Speaking out against racism as a crutch, Rachel Nance, she firmly declared that she thought unpleasant experiences are used by people of color, Asian women, all of us, as a catapult to push us in a direction, to chase our dreams, to take up space. While Joey Graziade's competitor was harmed by the barrage of hurtful remarks and online abuse, it appears that Bachelor star Rachel Nance won't allow it stop her. Her supporters appreciate her grounded demeanor, and it takes guts to speak up against hurtful remarks. What do you think about Rachel Nance, a contestant for Joey Graziade, refusing to let discrimination break her? Are you relieved that she brought attention to those who would prefer to use it as a catapult to achieve their goals? Tell us in the comments section below. Then return here to get Following all of their engagement. Update. Joey Graziade's supporters are aware that he intends to move to New Orleans to live with Kelsey Anderson. It appears that he might have taken the action already. Do you believe Joey and her are already living together? Plans are made for Joey Graziade to move in with Kelsey Anderson. Joey revealed on the final of The Bachelor 2024 that he was going to go to New Orleans to live with Kelsey Anderson. Since leaving Hawaii, he has been residing with his sister. That he would move in with her made perfect sense. These two are infatuated and unable to look away from one another. They are prepared for the next phase of their relationship since they are in love. Has Joey already made a move? It appears that Joey may have moved to New Orleans by now. He brought many of his possessions with him when he moved there. Joey revealed on his Instagram story that fans are left wondering by it all. He shared in his first post that Joey had a lot of clothes and that the unpacking had begun. It also indicated that he was in New Orleans. Joey then shared a post announcing the creation of his own Joey Corner. His stuff goes here, so it's possible he won't be moving in just soon. This is the post he made on his corner. He obviously brought the golf equipment so he could play in his new surroundings. Given the amount of stuff he appeared to have packed, it wouldn't be shocking if Joey had already moved in with Kelsey. Fans will simply have to wait for him to comment further and clarify whether or not he works there full-time for the time being. Following the Monday final of The Bachelor, Joey and Kelsey have been spotted together at press events. It appears that they will now get some downtime at last. Kelsey Anderson hasn't posted anything regarding Joey moving in with her yet. Still, this is a significant shift for the couple. They had to keep it a secret that they had been dating for a long time and only got together on romantic weekends. They may now spend every day together. They will find out at this point whether their relationship is truly viable off of The Bachelor. Do you believe Kelsey Anderson and Joey Graziade have moved in together already? Share your opinions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.